Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Let's do... Perhaps a... Lost Run. Yeah, let's do a Lost Run. Let's see here. What do we need as the Lost? We need Boss Rush, Dark Room, Delirium, and Alt Path. Okay. I think that's reasonable. Let's see if we can maybe make that happen. There we go, grab the bomb. I don't think we're super interested in heading into the bedroom that we saw in that very first room. And we're not really interested in anything we're going to get from Envy as far as items go. The only item he can drop is Shoop the Whoop, and we would much rather have the Eternal D6. Although we could at least reroll it potentially into something more useful. And it's not that Shoop the Whoop is a bad item, because it's actually pretty good. It's like a brimstone beam that you can use once every two rooms, basically. It shoots like a big laser of death. But the thing is, giving up the ability to reroll items for the rest of the run seems significantly worse than having Shoop the Whoop, so... There we go. Okay, well, we got a key. It's something. Alright, so let's see what we get in our first item room here. Okay, I got hit with the... Uh, I, I managed to get hit somehow? That's fine. There we go. Check for... Crawl space. No crawl space. Peek at the shop. Ooh, blank card. That's pretty good. Uh, but, oh, <laughs> yo, the Tech X runs are just absurd. We've had so m <laughs> this is like the third Tech X run in like, what, three episodes, four episodes? That's just ridiculous. I'm not complaining by any stretch of the imagination, but like, you gotta realize this is arguably the best item in the game. And it's also, an, like, you also have to realize that there are, like, a thousand items in Isaac. And that's not an exaggeration. There's quite literally, like, 900 and some odd items or something like that. It's absurd. And my dog is very excited. I don't know if you can hear her in the background, but I think she just found out she's going outside. Uh, <laughs> so getting Tech X this many times in a small number of episodes is kind of hilarious. Okay, so the spirit hearts don't do anything for us. Let's just move on to the next floor. So this is a boss rush run. Uh, although boss rush as the lost is definitely scary. But if ever there was a time to do it, it's the time that you have tech X. Like, come on. So then what we need is brimstone. Or not brimstone. We need... Ooh, okay. What we need is damage to go with our Tech X, so we kill things absurdly quickly. Okay, Counterfeit Penny's pretty good here. Pop in here, what do we got? Uh, honestly, yes. Give me the speed upgrade. Also, I totally should have rerolled Placenta. I didn't even think about it. Because I always forget that the Lost has the ability to reroll. So that was a misplay on my part, but that's fine. I mean, we have Tech X, so we're going to be fine. I very much like to get rid of the champion dudes first. Other items that would be amazing would be like Lump of Coal. Some tiers upgrades. There's a lot of different stuff. Stapler's great. That's a damage upgrade. Uh, we're going to reroll that. Blood Oath uh, actually does... I'm pretty sure it does nothing. But I'm going to take it. I don't think it actually does anything as the Lost. Because you can't have Red Hearts for it to take. Um, but I'm going to take it because it'll lock us into taking deals with the Devil. For the rest of the run. Uh, Tarot Cloth. I'm going to pass on that for now, and we're going to try and reroll that into something else. 
once I build up enough enough charges on our battery here. Tarot cloth is good, but it no longer doubles the effect of runes like it used to, which is what made it really good. That's significantly better. Give me damage over tarot cloth. As the lost, anyway. Pop in here. Adrenaline, I'm going to take, just because that's now a second um, item that contributes to spun. Now, the spun transformation would result in a very large damage upgrade. So I'm going to take it, even though it doesn't actually really do anything for us at the moment. Basically, because I'm hoping that we get a, another uh, syringe item at some point. And then the only question is, are we going to be able to beat Boss Rush? Like, the run itself is great. And it might be possible. We've done Hush, just not Boss Rush. All right, then you take this as a trinket. Uh, we're probably going to reroll the box. Ooh. I mean, Guppy... I'll take the Guppy item. Reroll this. That's a tears upgrade. Move on. Now, unfortunately, we can only take one uh, item per, like, deal or whatever. Uh, I don't think we're interested in blowing up any of those. We'll definitely check the boss trap room here. See what's in here. What do we got? Not worth it. Also not worth it. What would I do the boss trap room for? Uh, damage or tears upgrades? Death card? Okay. We may re-roll it again. I mean, we get a re-roll every two rooms, which is pretty good. Okay, there we go. Let's give this another try. I would also do it for another syringe item. All right. There's the downside to the Eternal D6. Sometimes it just makes your items disappear, but the thing is, when you make the item disappear, you're re you're basically getting rid of an item that you're not going to use anyway. So, I think it's uh, honestly a really cool addition. I like the Eternal D6 a lot. I think it's amazing on the Lost. And makes the Lost significantly better as a character. And the Lost was already pretty good in the past, at least once you unlock Holy Mantle. <laughs> Rune Bag. Um, I think you just take Rune Bag, honestly. It's going to give us runes every, like, however many runes. And we don't really have any of the bad runes unlocked, so it's pretty much only going to give us good stuff, like Yera and Dagaz and Perthro and all that kind of good stuff, so I think that's probably very worth taking. Okay, there we go. Get away from the troll bomb. Grab this. Do we go back and find the shop? How are we doing for time? I think given that we need to make boss rush on this run, I think we are going to skip going back for the shop. Ah, that was just bad. It's fine, though. Boss rush is going to be very hard. Speed. Do I take the speed upgrade here? Yeah, probably. But now we don't really need any more speed upgrades. Now we're good on speed upgrades. Okay, we can go back for that later. What do we got in here? Just Okay, stone chest. Probably not worth my time. Two of clubs doubles our bombs. I'm just going to use it right away. Keep the world card. Oh, that was an accidental key use. I will blow this one up. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Okay. I used another key accidentally. I'm so bad. <laughs> Oh, you excuse me? I'm actually mad. 
That's just ah. Uh. Okay. Worth it? Eh. I mean, black candle's great. It means we won't have any curses for the whole run. But I was really hoping to re-roll those into like a guppy item. That's fine though. It's good to know that you can re-roll and potentially only one item will disappear. That's definitely a re-roll. Guillotine is an item that as the lost will get you killed because it makes your hitbox all weird. Well, not like weird, but like the spot where your tears come from moves around your body. And therefore it makes it very weird dodging because normally you you're like, oh, the shot where my the spot where my tears are coming from. That's where I need to, you know, that's that's where my hitbox is. But with guillotine, it messes you up. So, like, is a good item? Like, the effect is mostly good, but also it can get you killed. That's also bad. Uh, let's spend a bomb here in case we can get small rock. All right, no small rock. I mean, at the end of the day, if I walk away from this floor with nothing but... Uh, with nothing but black candle, like, I think I'm okay with that. All right, let's fight the boss. And Kane's other eye is an item that I just feel like is a is kind of a do nothing item. Like it provides a very minuscule benefit, which is that it will create an eye that will just bounce around the room and shoot if I remember correctly or something like that. I have to look. Either way, it's not a, it's not something that's super impactful on the run. Or we could just die. Okay. It's fine. Welcome to the Lost. <laughs> Could be worse. You know, as the as challenging as the Lost can be, I still really enjoy the Lost as a character. Is one of my favorite characters. Maybe I'm just a glutton for punishment, but the Lost is very capable of becoming incredibly strong. Because starting with Holy Mantle and starting with the ability to fly, Spectral Tears, all that kind of stuff. And then the ability to take deals with the Devil item, or deal with the Devil items for free. Because I think pound for pound, like if you don't have to pay for them, the deal with the Devil items are probably better than the deal with the Angel items. But the reason we often go deals with the Angel is because you have to pay. Although, then again, I don't know, maybe the best deal with the devil items are not quite as good as the best deal with the angel items. It's probably close. I'm going to put a bomb right there. Because A, it blows up the tinted rock to look for small rock, and B, it does a ton of damage to the boss. So that seemed like a pretty good use of a bomb. Oi! Okay, it's fine. We can get him trapped up against the wall. We're usually okay. You just gotta get him sort of trapped up against a wall. There we go. Jesus juice you take. It is damage. And then we have to work our way back and go find our item room. Which almost certainly is gonna be somewhere over here. Yep. There we go. This is a lot of enemies. It's alright. Just take them down a little bit at a time. Sort of, like, kite them around the room until they are all dead. There we go. What do we got? Like, three dudes left? Not too bad. There we go. Lost fly. Um... This is the worst of all the flies, in my opinion. It moves around the outside of the room. So we'll reroll it. Little Spewer is probably better. I don't think there's anything in here we want too bad. Uh, I will check here for a secret room. Wow. 
That's a pretty good secret room. Evil Charm. Luck up. Makes you immune to burn, confusion, fear, poison, and toxic gas? Yeah? This is a new item. I don't think we've had this before. Swallowed Penny doesn't really do anything for us. Uh, now that I have money, was there anything in the shop that I actually was like, yeah, that's pretty good? I mean, Mom's box is pretty solid, but I don't think it's better than the Eternal D6. I think it is... Hmm. I don't know. It's definitely not better than the Eternal D6 on the Lost. Maybe on some other characters you could make an argument for it. But the thing is, there's so many items that don't do anything for the Lost, like anything that gives you HP, any HP upgrade, is essentially useless as the Lost. So having the ability to potentially reroll those into other useful items, I think, seems way better. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't value Pokego. Little Spewer seems like it's doing some good work, though. Don't get hit by that. Uh, it doesn't hit things that aren't on the ground, but... Okay, so the Haunt... This is another item, or another enemy, that Little Spewer isn't going to do anything against. So this one's going to be entirely on us, which is fine. Just deal with the little ghosts. Very carefully. Now we deal with the big ghost. Very carefully. That is a brimstone beam. Okay. Oh, yep, that one's going to hit me. Brimstone beam again. Okay, we got him. And toothpicks is great. I will always happily take a tears upgrade. And then in here we got brimstone bombs. And cambian conception. Brimstone Bombs is interesting, but I think we're going to reroll. Okay, Guppy's head is fine. That's a Guppy item. Um, Brimstone Bombs, like, it's nice. It's a good-ish. It's a pretty good item, but, like, Cambian Conception as the Lost is useless, because you, you never take damage as the Lost, because once you take damage, you die. So, that's a do-nothing item. And I think being able to reroll both of those into potentially something better seems just better. Lock up. Okay. Uh, I can see forever. And what is this? Explosive diarrhea. Okay, get out of the way. But we'll take the I can see forever pill with us to the next floor. That'll give us access to our secret rooms again. Okay. Uh, golden horseshoe is better than... Okay. Yep. Golden Horseshoe is better than Swallowed Penny. Swallowed Penny, much like Campion Conception, does nothing as the Lost, since you can't take damage. PhD, I will absolutely take. Health Up Pill, not very good, obviously, but... Being able to know what the pills are in advance, and then also potentially get, you know, tears up and all that kind of stuff, that's pretty solid. So, on to the next floor we go. How are we doing for time? Eh, okay. Let's pop the I can see forever pill right away. Okay. Blow you up. Got our bomb back with interest. Okay. Uh, oh, I got no keys, I just realized. That's a little bit of a problem. I mean, the good news is, after this floor, I think we get the, uh, the perfection trinket, or whatever it's called, that will give us plus ten luck, so we'll have infinite keys at that point. Like, not literally infinite, but you know what I mean. Uh, now we'll check the shop. We've got enough money that we can potentially buy another key in the shop if we need to. 
Uh, I will take Buddy in a box, and I'm gonna buy this too, just for the key. Wasn't a guarantee we'd get one, but it was pretty likely. I want to make sure we can get into our item room. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's fine. Since these are all lined up so nicely, we might as well take them out and look for stuff. Still no, sh uh, still no item room though. I'm sure we'll find it at some point. Uh, wouldn't mind getting BFFs, given that we've got a couple of familiars now. That could be good. All right, there's the item room. So let's pop into here. Hot bombs? Sure. Couple of bombs. This I'm gonna take because it's a damage upgrade, which we desperately need. It's a much larger damage upgrade than it used to be as well. It used to be a very small one, and now it's a full one damage, which is, you know, kind of the standard. But we needed the damage. Uh, I think we'll also check the bedroom in case there's a crawl space in there. Because we have plenty of bombs. Uh, definitely need a speed upgrade here, like very soon. All right, there is a crawl space. So let's check this out. What do we got? Um, evil Eye. I think we re-roll that. Unicorn Stump isn't really what we're looking for, either. Let's go check out the Cursed Room. Guppy's Paw. Okay. So now we're talking. So we're going to leave that there just for a moment. Because we want to re-roll that since it will re-roll into another deal with the devil item, or another uh, cursed room item, which are the, which includes all the guppy items, and we've already gotten one guppy item. So that puts us only one item away from guppy. That is so many spiders. But they're all the little ones. Okay, there we go. So at this point, I think you fight the boss. And the reason you fight the boss is in case you'd rather reroll the deal, like the deal with the devil, which is pretty unlikely, but you never know. Careful. Okay. Little spewer has actually been pretty useful here, just keeping enemies slowed down. Alright, so we did not get a deal. We did get Mr. Dolly. The hearts don't really do much, but the perfection trinket absolutely does. Gives us a ton of luck. And now, we go back to our room over here. Pick you up. Put you down. False PhD and regular PhD? I don't even know how that'll work, but we're gonna try it. Explosive diarrhea. Probably shouldn't have used that in the curse room. <laughs> but it's fine. Alright. Uh, and we can't go back for the unicorn horn, so... Yep, we're out. How we doing? We're a little bit behind schedule for boss rush, so we're going to have to kind of pick up the pace a little bit. Having that speed downgrade is going to make that a little bit harder. So hopefully we can get a speed upgrade here at some point soon. Bob's curse, though. Uh, that could potentially re-roll into a guppy item. So we're going to leave it there. 
Because we care about that way more than we care about the five bombs. Okay, you got me. Shot speed down? Sure. That becomes damage up. Reroll that. Mom's Razor. That's another item that we're like, nah. But if we can reroll that into a guppy item, we will be a very happy boy. Also, I should probably take Cursed Eye if we get it. Because as the Lost, it's good. Grab the bombs, uh, go back to the Cursed Room. I'm kind of thinking we might not make Boss Rush, but we'll see. Okay, Contract from Below I'll take. Doubles all pickups. Or at least has a chance to. See what this is. Okay, nothing great there. Check the arcade. Okay, nothing to care about there either. This is probably a secret room. Yep. Blow you up for deal chance. Okay, come on, boys. One more. Pop up. Betrayal. That's definitely an item we want to reroll. 100%. Please die. There we go. Psy fly. Okay, now there's an item. This is one of the better defensive items in the game, right up there with Holy Mantle. Uh, and honestly, here, I'm liking options. I think that's pretty good. We've also got a Chaos card. Okay, that's again pretty good. Um, I'm going to buy the key. So that was a pretty awesome little store slash turn of events. That worked out pretty great for us. Come on, dude. All right, one down, two down. Definitely take the chests. There's our boss. And we should get a deal here, hopefully. Let's fight you. Oh, that was bad. We gotta be real careful. This is not looking good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, we tried. Guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.